All right, so I got my cable hooked up. I built this one for probably like ten dollars, but I already had this this cable to the mini USB, and then I have this serial adapter, which I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. It's working at the moment, but it hasn't been too reliable, so I'll let you guys know about that. It is working right now. But I'm unable to take it out of the USB or else it's not going to recognize it for a long time again. That was a whole other story with the drivers and who knows. I'm still working on that. But it's working right now. So I just ran the wires from my room to the Caprice to the OBD port. So I got that going right now. So I'm on the desktop because none of the laptops were working with that wire. But it still remains to be figured out. But anyway, I got the cat's wind flash right here opened up. And let me go turn this car on. It's an on position. And also have my battery charger on here. You want to do this because they say if anything happens while you're saving the program or loading the program it could break the computer which pretty much means you can't use it anymore so you want to keep the voltage good don't trip over the wires that's what i'm telling myself make sure all the connections are good and i'm gonna check to see if the car registers first so here this is on and <clears throat> I watched a video on this on YouTube and the guy said leave it on for 15 seconds before you do anything so I'll just follow that and it should be ready to go give it a few more seconds and let's see I'm gonna check to see vehicle information first Just to see if it's connected. All right, here we go. This is my computer that I've been using. I was told it was a 95 Impala, so there it is. You can't really tell if it's Impala or Caprice, but there it is. And now I'm gonna read this. And I'm gonna save this as 95 Impala. And do not interrupt. And I'm not gonna interrupt it. And this will take about I don't know, a couple minutes, depending on your computer speed. This is just to read the bin, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with the car at all, mess with the wires or nothing. And once I save it, if it, if this was another car, the fans might be going, but this one I have the fans hooked up manually, so they're not gonna be turning on. But you can hear it's making a little bit of noise. So I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna save this bin file and then I'm gonna try to load it into this one. And I'll be back. All right, it says PCM memory read complete. Nice. So I've got that stock bin. Now I'm gonna switch this Cadillac computer and try to program that one. And we'll see how that goes. All right. I'm going to see if it recognizes it's a Cadillac hooked up to it. Yeah, my wires are still connected. And then I think I'm going to, there it is. I think I'm going to try to program it with 95 Impala SS stock bin open 
at the PCM interface cable. The computer died. Okay, you don't want anything to disconnect this. You don't want anything to interrupt it. So turn off everything else. I got everything else closed. No screen savers coming on. I'm not gonna trip over the wire. Press okay. Do not interrupt. Now we're making Cadillac computer into Impala computer. So hopefully it works and I'll be back when it's done. All right, it's getting pretty close to the end there. Uh-oh, it says PCM memory program complete. Okay, now the moment of truth. What kind of car are you? A Cadillac or are you a Chevrolet? You're a Cadillac. How is that possible? Hmm. Oh, maybe that just changed. I think that still tuned it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I could put my own VIN in there. Cool. It still says it's a Cadillac. But... The tune on there is different, so I'll have to write it on it. So I'm still learning, but there it is. All right, I'm gonna change the VIN number on this computer. So the old one is the Cadillac, and the new one is this Caprice. So let's get it. I would copy and paste, but this is just a picture. One. G one B L five two P X S R one eight five nine nine five. I could put any number I wanted, I guess, but I would like to keep it the same. We're going to use this PCM number, which is 162093. Print screen. Let me get that real quick just in case I want to go back to this Cadillac van and model number. All right. Let's see what happens if we do a change of VIN. I guess I'll turn it back on just in case it wants to know the car. Oh, it should be vehicle information. Oh wait, always oh, supposed to wait 15 seconds. At least that's what dude said. And I'm gonna just keep it like that. It's better safe than sorry. Wait a few seconds. All right. Vehicle information. Hopefully this comes up as a Caprice now. Hmm. Oh, I'm sitting on the wires. That's what you shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. That probably has something to do with it. Let me make sure that these wires are good here. That's why I was not sitting there. Let me see vehicle information. And there it is. 
Change to the Caprice Impala, the same one that I have in my other car. But, I mean the same one from my Caprice, but this one isn't. This one says 94 Cadillac on it. But you can see, you know you can't see. You gotta trust me. The car is hooked up. Let's see if I put the lights on for you. Nope, that doesn't help. Anyway. That worked. And I'll be back.